Hi everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. And of course, one of my favorite things to create is gnomes. And I wanted to do a sock gnome. I haven't done one of those for a while. So I decided to come up with this fire wizard gnome. I had made one in the past and I just loved how he turned out, but I didn't get a video of it. So I recreated this little guy and I'm still just as in love with this one. So I hope you guys like him as much as I do. He is fairly simple, but there's a lot of steps. So we're going to get started right away and I'll show you guys how you can make your very own fire wizard. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with just one adult size sock and we're going to cut it right at the heel. We're going to take one of these wooden discs from Dollarama. They come in a package of three. They're about three and a half inches in diameter. And I'm just going to pop one of those right in the very bottom of my sock. Try to get my sock centered then. Hold it down a little bit. We're then going to put just a handful of polyfill in there and just push it out to the edges all the way around. Grab a handful of pebbles until it's about the weight you want it to be. And then we're going to continue to fill with more polyfill. We're going to fill it up till it is about five and a half inches high. And then I'm going to top it off with an elastic right at the top. Then we're going to grab some black minky and I'm going to cut a piece. This is three and a half by 13 inches. We're going to run a strip of hot glue around the one side and then again along the long side here and we're just going to tack those down so we've got some nice edges a little bit of hot glue about two inches down and we're just going to attach that to our sock and start rolling it up some more hot glue all the way around and then finish it off with a strip of hot glue on the end there and then i realized that was too long so i cut it actually probably about two inches off because i just want to tack it down around the edges i don't need it to go all the way around because i decided to finish it off with another disc. So we're just going to add some hot glue at the bottom then just tack that down. Then I'm going to take another one of those wooden discs and hot glue it right to our black minky again and then just cut around that leaving us enough room to tack it down on, again on around the disc here. We're just going to add some hot glue and then tack all that around. A lot of hot glue and tacking. We're going to just attach that second disc to the bottom of our guy. So lots of hot glue on the bottom and then press down nice and hard. Next, we are going to take our flame cotton fabric here and we're going to start with a 16 by 11 inch rectangle. We're going to fold it in half and then in half again. And then we're just going to round out our corners there just so we have like a nice oval shape. And then we cut out two six inch circles and now we are going to cut out a 12 by five and a half inch piece. Also we are going to now cut out a strip of black minky. This is the black swirl minky. I'm just making some trim here so just a nice about two and a half inch wide strip. Hot glue on one side, hot glue on the other. Fold them so they meet in the center. We're going to put that aside and next we are taking another strip of this black swirl minky. I'm just going to cut a nice long strip of it. About two and a half inches or about two inches wide. Hot glue all around the edge of our oval and attach our minky. We're going to just gather it slightly just on the corners there. Just going all the way around. Hot glue. Right till we get to the end. And then we're going to attach our two end pieces with some more hot glue. Let's press them together firmly and then we will cut off our extra little bit there. Flip it over, turn all that minky onto the other side and we're going to add some more hot glue on this side and tack it all down all the way around. Right till we get to the end once again. And then we are going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again just to find our center. And then about a quarter of an inch on each side of our center, we're going to just fold in a little piece and add a strip of hot glue 
and tack those together, just giving us a nice little pleat at the top there. Next, we are going to take one hair foam roller from Dollarama. I'm going to remove the little white clips on the end and then pull our wire straight through. Next, I'll take that hair foam roller, fold it in half, give it a nice little snip. And we're going to be adding these to our coat now. So we're going to open it up and right where that fold is where we folded it in half, we're going to add a strip of hot glue to our hair foam roller and attach it right to that fold line making sure we smooth out that hot glue line as well. Again, a nice little bit of glue right where the furry bit starts there for the minky, and then a strip of hot glue on our hair foam roller and attach that together. Taking our wire now that we removed, we're going to just straighten out, the, straighten out our end pieces so it's about eight and a half inches long. Cut it in half, and we're going to insert it into our hair foam rollers once again but with a little hot glue in the center, leaving us about half an inch sticking out for our hands to be attached to later. Exact same thing on the other side, hot glue, poke that wire in. Next, we are taking our 12 by five and a half inch piece here, fold it in half, cut it into a triangle, run a strip of hot glue all along the side there and fold it back together, attaching it. Press it together nice and firm. We're going to then turn it right side out, lay it nice and flat, and just cut off that back so it's nice and even all the way around. Next, we're going to take our two six inch circles, and we're just going to attach those together good side to good side. So I'm just going to run some hot glue all along the edge, other than about a two inch piece we are going to leave open. And that's where we are going to turn it right side out now, making sure we get all the corners. Well, edges, there's a circle, I guess there's no corners. <laughs> and then we're going to run a strip of hot glue all along the one edge, tack it down, flip it over, do the same thing right on our opening here, just tacking down those edges. Then a strip of hot glue again, we're going to press those two together. Next, we'll fold it in half and in half again, make a little snip. We're just going to find our center there to make some pie shaped pieces all the way around. I added some polyfill to our cone and now I'm just going to run some hot glue all along the bottom of that. And slip our other piece right over top, making sure it's nice and even all the way along the bottom. After it's cooled, we can cut off those extra little tabs that are poking up. Then we're going to add some hot glue all along the edge there and that black minky trim that we had made earlier. All the way around the edge until you get to the end, finish it off with some hot glue to attach your two edges together and then trim off your extra. I then took some craft rope. This is like a nice thin black craft rope that has got a little bit of a silver in it. And I just kind of wrap that basically around the base at first with a little hot glue at the bottom attaching it. So along the base, get it nice and thick there. And then I winded it all the way up the top of the hat, attaching with hot glue here and there just to keep it in place. Right till I got to the top, finished it with some more hot glue, and then just snipped it off. For our beard, I'm using a gray faux fur. I'm just going to cut out a five inch square here. Just cutting the back, we don't want to cut the fur itself. We're going to find the center, and then I'm just going to cut off the bottom two corners. Just leaving us a nice triangle. Making spot now for his polymer clay nose that I've made previously. I will leave a link in the description on how to make the nose. Little E6000 right on the base of that. Little hot glue all along that. And then we'll just attach right to our beard there. Nice and firm. Now we've got our pieces all made, we'll start piecing everything together. So I'm going to attach our beard with some hot glue right to the top of our sock. About an inch down from the top, I guess. Add a little hot glue right to the top, just in case our elastic gives out. Next, we're going to add some hot glue right to the back of our coat, right at the center. Take our little gnome and attach that coat right to the back there. Pressing it down firmly all the way around. And then I'm going to 
attached the two black minky pieces around his coat. I decided I wanted those to be attached together. So I just added glue all the way around and pressed those together. Then a little hot glue right where his armpit would be, I guess. So right where your gnome's armpit would be, we're going to add some hot glue and then press that down nice and firm. Then we're going to take his hat, add a little hot glue all along the bottom opening there. A generous amount of hot glue. And press that down firmly right on top of our guy. Next, I took just a piece of scrap cardboard and I just wanted it to be black on the base. So I just painted it quickly black. Then I took these small containers from Dollarama. These are about one inch by one inch containers. And then I took a one inch styrofoam ball, well, two of them. And I just cut off like a quarter of the styrofoam ball just to give us a nice flat edge. So I did that to both of the balls. Then I took our containers, removed the lids, add some hot glue, press that down firmly on the unpainted side. Press the styrofoam balls with some hot glue right in front of our containers. And then trim around all that when it has cooled. And then we took a strip of black minky. This is two by five and a half. And I just added a strip of hot glue and rolled our boot right up in that. Another strip of hot glue to finish it off at the back. Some hot glue on top of the styrofoam ball, tack that down. Glue inside the boot and tack that all down again. Same thing on our second booty, glue all along the bottom. Finish it off with some hot glue at the back. Hot glue on top of the styrofoam ball, hot glue inside our container and tack all your fabric down. I finished it off with some bright orange craft rope that I had and I just put some hot glue all around the edges for that and I did that on both our booties. Finishing off with hot glue again. I then attached our booties with hot glue. I didn't show it that, I am sorry, but I just added hot glue right to the top of the booty and pressed that firmly into our gnome. Next we are going to make his wand. For that I'm using some polymer clay and a wooden skewer. So I'm just going to roll out our clay here, giving us just a nice little piece to work with. Put our skewer right in the center of that and wrap it around, pinching it together. Roll it up some more. So you're going to end up with a little bit extra on the top and the bottom. For the bottom piece, I just folded that down a bit. We got a little bit of a thicker chunk there. For the bottom, I just pinched it off and took it right off of there. Then just keep pinching it together, rolling it. And then I just kind of started twisting it. I just kind of started twisting it around that skewer. You'll see that the clay itself will actually twist. Giving us these nice little twisty lines. I then added some little gems right to the top. Poke those right in there with my tweezers. Then took some more red polymer clay and I started making some little teardrop shapes. We're just going to make his hands quickly here. For this reason I'm making, usually I make hands ahead of time, but I wanted them to be attached to that wand. So I figured I might as well make some hands at the same time. That way we know it's going to be nice and attached. So I just made a little cut, smoothed out our fingers and our hand piece there on our teardrop shape. Smoothing it out some more. Making sure it's going to fit on his wand there. Make a hole for the hand to go in later. Add a little uh, bacon bond so the hand will be nice and attached to our wand. Some finishing touches. Some little details on the hands. Make sure everything's stuck down. And then I'm going to bake those at 130 degrees for 30 minutes. And once that's all done and cooled, we're going to attach with some E6000 and some hot glue. So E6000 on the wire, and then a little hot glue right on the hand. And then we're just going to poke that right onto the wire that's poking out there, so it's nice and attached. I did decide I didn't like the wand that color actually, so I took it off and painted it brown first. Adding a little gold where the, we had done the little twisty pieces. 
Now we're going to add again some E6000 right on the wire, hot glue on the base of the hand and press it together firmly. And there he is. There he is, our little fire wizard is all ready. He is so sweet. I love how his coat flares out. He is just so sweet. I love everything about him. I hope you guys love him as much as I do. Please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And until our next awesome creation, love to all.